Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. In front of everyone. Everyone's gonna see. Everyone's gonna see me lose. Oh. <laughs> uh, gaming. Gaming is something else, Lance. Hello, my friends. It's been a while since we conversed, and as you can see by the title, I have so far put in 300 hours in Mortal Kombat 1, and as my mind slowly drifts off and I slowly fade away into the darkness, I look deep into the abyss, and I look into the abyss until I see what stares back, and what stares back is Cyrax, making all these characters do 15% block strings into more pressure, and I just ask myself, I ask myself, you know, whenever you go to the bathroom and you have to pee and poop at the same time, what do you do first? Me personally, I pee first. I find it kind of hard to really push out a poop whenever I had to really pee. Now, I was wondering, if you're a woman, do you even have to ever worry about that? Can't you just do both at the same time? That's really convenient. That's really convenient. They're kind of lucky in that aspect. In that way, you can kind of tell that men were made first because we're kind of like the first prototype. We're not very efficient. Like our, uh, our private parts, like they're just out there in the open. They can be used as like a vulnerable point in combat. And also, like, we have nipples for, like, no reason. Uh, we can't pee and poop at the same time, like I already stated. So that kind of makes me, like, really makes me conclude that, you know, men were made first, women were made second. Because women seem like the more efficient version of a uh, human. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I concluded after 300 hours of MK. And also, I've just been thinking, y'all, like, what do y'all think about, like, the whole landscape of, like, existence and stuff like that? Because... You know, we got ECT in a couple days, and, you know, there's going to be Sonic, Ninja Killer, and all these players, Combat, Foxy Grandpa, who I, who I guess is now going, uh, King Gambler, stuff like that, Gur. And I'm just wondering, like, you know, when they collide, when they collide on that stage, is it going to, is it going to rift, a, is it going to open a rift in space and time and the continuum and all that and open up a new multiverse where uh, you can, where as a dude, you can actually pee and poop at the same time. You can do a, a tuck. I call it the tuck, where you tuck it in, in the seat, and then, and then your stream flows smoothly down into the uh, the the water, and then you can also uh, poop at the same time. I was wondering if that's something that we could end up doing, if the if the rift in time ends up opening when we see players like Sonic and Ninja Killer face each other off at this first uh, mm -hmm. major event. Now, another thing I was thinking about was. You know, everyone's so, you know, harping on, like, Cyrax and, you know, all these uh, broken characters and stuff like that and cameos. But I was thinking, like, man, have y'all seen, like, uh, Striker? Like, bro, people with Striker, they just do, like, dumb shit on block. They do dumb shit in neutral. And then they throw those, like, bombs on top of you. And, like, you get punished for trying to, like, stop them from doing dumb shit. You know what I mean? So, I think if, like, Cyrax and Kung Lao and all these characters get nerfed, we could easily see Striker be like next up. You know what I mean? Like next up, fill your cup, drink it. And then people ask me all the time, they're like, you know, Tweety, what is going on with uh, Omni Man, the DLC and all this? And I'm just saying, you know, we're going to get them soon, hopefully. Are they going to come with patches? Are they going to come with updates to the online? Maybe crossplay, maybe lobbies? I don't know, but I want to be hopeful and say that yes, they are. But, you know, we don't know. You know, it's cool that we're going to get Tremor first. It looks like. Trimmer's going to have a launcher, a combo, center, things of that nature. And, you know, I might check him out. I might use him with Melina. I might cause a Cena. And then we're going to get John Cena in the spring with Peacemaker. And that's going to be fucking crazy. I wonder if he's figured out a strategy to pee and poop at the same time. I don't know. And you might say, Tweety, 300 hours, that's insane in a month. I'm not even going to get 300 hours by this time next year. And I'm going to say, yeah, that's true. You're probably also going to get more showers in this week then I will have by that time next year. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a give and take. That's life. Life is all about a give and take. There's many things in life that I want to do that, um, you know, I don't necessarily have time for because I'm dedicating all this time to MK1 and you're dedicating all your time to, you know, your family, your significant other, your career, and like taking showers. And that's why you won't have 300 hours in MK1 um, by this time next year. You know what I mean? Life is just... Life is just a give and take, you know. We don't have enough hours in the day to focus on every possible thing that we would, you know, be interested in. You know, that's just how life is. That's how boats float. And like I said before, you know, I'm... A lot of people say that I'm one of the goats. I'm actually not a goat because goats come and go. 
but boats stay afloat. So I would consider myself the boat. And also another thing that I want y'all to realize is life, you know, it gets hard sometimes, but there's a few things about life that I just really want y'all to realize deep down. And that's a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Also, be better, not bitter. Also, tough times don't last. Tough people do. Also, another thing I want to consider is if you throw me to a pack of wolves, y'all, I shall return leading the pack. Also, the comeback is always greater than the setback. And here's the thing. Whenever I'm playing MK1 and I'm like struggling and, you know, I can't quite beat Sonic Fox yet, I say to myself, we didn't come this far just to come this far. And I say, trust the process. And whenever something bad's happening to me, like, for example, my some city workers knocked out my internet, which is why I'm recording this weird video, I don't say, why me? I say, try me. And then I do some weird shit like this to, you know, get my mind off of it. And then I also say a bitter root will only produce a bitter fruit. And then whenever I'm trying to beat Sonic Fox and Sonic is doing all these weird rain steps on me. And then I, and then I still somehow win sometimes. And then eventually one day, if I do overcome, you know what I'll say? The best views come from the hardest climb. And I also say nothing changes if nothing changes. And then whenever I'm feeling down, I'm feeling bad about myself. And I'm feeling like maybe committing all this time to MK when no showers was the wrong move. I say, if you focus on yourself and live positively, what you seek seeks out you. You know what I mean? And a big reason I started this YouTube and Twitch channel was because I got tired for the light at the end of the tunnel with MK. So I lit that bitch up myself. And you, the viewers, you guys are my electricity lighting up that end of the tunnel. And I appreciate that. And they say, if you deserve it, the universe will serve it. And also, you know, every time I take a big loss, every time I have a big setback, I say, you know how a slingshot works? You got to pull it back to fire. It's not a setback, it's a setup. So every time, you know, I have a setback, I just think it's not a setback, it's a fucking setup. And I'm setting up all these fucking clowns. It's a fucking circus. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucking frustrating playing Sub-Zero and getting no respect for every win and getting ridiculed with every loss. You know what I'm saying? And y'all got to realize that. And take it easy on my boy MK Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to get back into the scene. He's just trying to chill vibe exists. And a lot of y'all are giving him a hard time. Fucking leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave him the fuck alone. Or, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Something's going to happen. But yeah, leave him alone. Because it's frustrating playing Sub-Zero. And uh, yeah, y'all, I don't I don't even know what, what this video is about or where it's going. Um, I'm excited to play to watch ECT. I'm going to be restreaming that. I'm going to be doing analysis, commentating, stuff like that. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, be playing Omni Man when he comes out and Tremor. Going to be focusing on them. Going to be doing Elder God runs with those guys, guides, things of that nature. I'm going to be streaming my tournament runs. I'm going to be streaming me going to Elder God with Rain tomorrow. I'm just going to be doing many things that involve existing, many things that involve not showering. Many things involve peeing before you poop. And then uh, also, like, here's another thing, guys. If you have a dream, fucking chase that shit, bro. We only get to live one fucking time. And you might say, oh, it's hard because of my circumstance to chase my dream and stuff. And, you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong to feel that way. But here's the thing. Once that dream burns out, so do you. You know what I mean? Once that dream burns out, so do you. Don't conform to, you know, what the way life fucking bars you in and shit like that things of that nature. You know what I mean? When you were a young boy, you you had all these dreams in your life. You were thinking, yeah, I get I live one time so it's going to be fucking me. It's going to be I'm going to be fucking him. I'm going to be him neutron. But then life slowly beat you down, beat your ass, and then you gave up on all your dreams. You might even have a different dream than you did back then, a passion, a more realistic goal, but you're still scared to chase it. I'm telling you right now, fucking grind. You know what I'm saying? While you're young, fucking put in that work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can fucking do it. With the internet, so many things are possible, dude. That one guy became famous because he asked for fucking Wendy's Nuggets. You know what I mean? He He's like, oh, how many retweets to get free Wendy's Nuggets? And now he's fucking rich and famous. All he did was make a fucking tweet. You know what I mean? We got TikTok. We got YouTube. We got Twitter. Or whatever the fuck it's called now. Instagram and all that, too. So, like, whatever passion you have, fucking spread that shit. You know what I mean? Get out there, fucking put out content on it. And you can make things fucking happen. I know you can. I believe in you. And, uh, yeah, just don't give up on that. And also, um, yeah, y'all, I don't know what the future of, uh, 
Oh, also, did y'all see that? Like, supposedly, Takeda's coming out in summer of 2024. That's crazy, right? Well, it's not really that crazy because we had to wait what a year for Spawn on MK11, and also Street Fighter's only now getting their second DLC. So it kind of makes sense, to be honest. It kind of makes sense. It seems like, and hopefully we get like bounce patches with that and stuff to shake it up. But um, yeah, it's gonna be it for the video. I think y'all, I appreciate everyone. It's been the support has been unreal. I know there's been a lot of hate, uh, <laughs> a lot of hate. But you know, I I I view hate as support as well, uh, personally. Unless like I'm really doing something wrong, like uh, some of y'all might agree, but I don't think me playing Baraka Cyrix is really doing something wrong, like as a human. Um, so getting hate for that, I still see that support at the end of the day. Um, but I appreciate everyone much love and I hope everyone has a great day. Follow your dreams. Be nice to each other. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, look forward to ECT Omni-Man and stuff like that later y'all.